How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be playing the Elder Scrolls Morrowind. For this guide I'm going to be making the best build I possibly can. So if you want to follow me in doing that, you're more than welcome. Let's give it a go. Now for this guide I'm not really be going to what to be watching all the cutscenes and reading every little thing. Uh, just to save time and because this is you know this is a guide on a, the best character build not not really a, a, a guide guide so this is for people that have played the game I guess I'm gonna turn the effects down a little bit Now you might have heard that this game's a little bit slow to begin with, which is absolutely true. But um, once you get to about the fourth or fifth level, everything, you know, everything's kicked off. So we're going to be choosing Breton because they have a 50% magicka resistance. Uh, there's not really a lot of faces to choose from, but that's not really important because for most of the game, your head's going to be covered in armor anyway. So okay. Let's make our way inside the office. So we're inside the office, talk to this bloke. So, we're going to go fill forms out ourselves. You don't have to call it what I'm calling it, but just, you know, call it whatever. Uh, Specialising in, mag in magic. Uh, attributes are intelligence and endurance. Major skills are heavy armor, long blade, athletics, uh, destruction, conjuration, alteration, um, restoration, acrobatics is very important, uh, speechcraft, and Block. You don't need to fill out a class description, just press OK. Uh, now this is where we choose our apprentice, which is why we chose Breton, because uh, Bretons have a resistance to Magicka, and if we're, as an apprentice you're weak to a Magicka, so it just cancels each other out and you get a 1.5 times bonus to your intelligence. Your magic, based on your intelligence. Now, take these forms. Go steal this. Great way to start off just being released from prison. Uh, but this plate's worth quite a lot of money, so you need it. And for some reason, this bloke isn't bothered once he tells you off. He just thought he had to clear the air that he's not happy with you, you know, grabbing plates off shelves, which is fair enough. You know, he's a good bloke, that guy. Um, just take anything useful you can find in here. Uh, you know, take these ingredients for alchemy later, I guess. Uh, any silverware, take this candle. Um, take the lockpick. As a mage, you're not going to have to use too much lockpicking because because um you can you can get lockpicking spells for with alteration, and they you know you just have to cast a spell on the box and it opens. That usually takes a lot longer if you don't. So here we are outside, in this barrel, don't miss it, Fargoth's rings in there, gold, talk to this bloke in here, you get asked about your duties, um, here's me mate Fargoth, give him his ring, you get it anyway later, don't worry, spoiler alert. Now that you've given Fargoth this ring, the bloke at the counter over here in the trade house is going to like you because he's Fargoth's friend or something. So you can get things for cheaper and you can sell things for more. Isn't that great? Works out for everyone. Barter. I'm going to sell... Majors don't drink beer, so sell your Mazte. Uh, sell your bread. You know, all the valuable stuff you picked up in there. Um, 
going to sell it for a bit more. All good. Now I come up here and talk to old mate the Nord. Now recover some gold. Five glass hiding place. I'll do it. All goods. Now if you didn't see the lighthouse, it's over here. I'm just going to skip there. Um, just go over there. Climb up. Now here we are back on top of the lighthouse. As you can see, we're going to wait until night time. So we're going to wait a good 11 hours. Um, and you'll see Snark bug off the sneaky bugger sneaking around with his torch. I wonder what he's doing. Now, after waiting for a considerable amount of time atop this white lighthouse, we have discovered that Bargoth here is storing all his stuff in this hollowed out log. Now, if that doesn't say that he's a bit dodgy, I don't know what does. So, we're going to make all our way down there, hopefully not startling him too much to, uh, you know, acquire the items that he's st stuffed in there. Uh, now, before you do that, I'd advise going behind the lighthouse and jumping down here and trying to grab this axe because it's worth, you know, a little bit of money. Um, here we go, he's finished. Now, I'm going to go grab his stuff and bring it back to Old Mate the Nord. Grab these mushrooms here. You need lots of mushrooms and flowers for the beginning quests in Balmora. Um, just so you know, I am very familiar with the starting off quests, so I'm going to know where to go through a lot of it, rather than looking in my journal and my map and everything else, which normally takes a long time. So you can watch me do that, or you can figure it out for yourself, I don't really mind. So, um, no, I'm not talking to him. Go up here, talk to this bloke. You know, Fargoth's hiding place. Yep, all good. Wander around here, you know, have a drink. Uh, got some effects going on. You know, just a little introduction. Because I had that alcohol, if you don't know, my agility has been drained by 20 points and my strength has been um, jumped up by 20 points. So, agility means I won't be able to hit someone as easily that's what agility affects in this game but if I do hit them I will do much more damage because my strength has been increased. Now you can go around drinking all day but I do not recommend it. I, you know, if you drink too much you're never going to hit anyone ever. You know, for that particular drink. Uh, but, you know, if you want to become a master alchemist go right ahead. Um, I've just never been, really been able to figure it out somehow. Now, uh, keep following this path, grab these mushrooms along the way, and you'll soon come across another little encounter. Now here we are at the aforementioned encounter, as you can see the sun bloke fallen directly down from the top of the clouds. Now grab your sword, this is going to be the sword you're using for the majority of starting off I'd say. Rogue doesn't really do anything except weigh you down and look stupid, so don't grab that. Uh, the flight potions are awesome. Um, I'll, pro I'll show you what that does after if, you, if you're not playing the game with me. But don't use them up and save it. Just save it before you use them up and then just have a go see how it looks because you'll need them later for something. So, walking back to Balmore. Uh, actually, no. I didn't figure this out until I'd finished the game. So, over here, there is a dead taxman which is <clears throat> which is what you need to find for a quest in Balmora before you leave, I mean in Sadanine before you leave to Balmora. Uh, there you go, there's a plus of jumping around everywhere, your acrobatics gets increased. Um, Quamas are highly aggressive little slug mining creatures that you'd have to be really really bad to get killed by, but don't feel bad if you do because you're pretty useless in combat to begin with in the start of the game. Um, I have it set on always use best attack, that's just what I've always done in options. <sighs> I, might, uh, I was going to say, I might, I might be eating my own words there, I might, I might get bloody knocked off by 